He was simply a hardworking man trying to provide for his family back in Central America. But tonight, Mario Teperia's family grieves his unexpected death in a hit and run as they also try to raise money to send him home to Guatemala one final time. Here's News Channel 5's Araceli Crescencio. The family of Mario Taperia say he was on his way to send his wife and children who live in Guatemala money. Unfortunately, he never made it to the store. He was killed in a hit and run near this intersection. Now his family is hoping to raise enough funds to send his body back home. You are not one. I can't hold on anymore, is the sentence Taperia's younger brother wrestles to say. Fighting back tears and struggling with the pain of losing his brother, Pedro Taperia Primero is sharing his story in hopes that justice is served. We are going to keep asking for justice because what happened is a great crime. He ran away. Police say 40-year-old Mario Taperia was crossing Dickerson Pike when he was hit by a driver in a black four-door sedan. The driver took off. Taperia was then hit by two other cars. Those drivers stopped. He fought for his family more than anything. He fought for his family and took care of his children. Taperia leaves behind eight children and his wife. He worked tirelessly to provide food and clothes for them, but now the cost of reuniting with them is eight to ten thousand dollars. I am asking for a lot of help from people who can help me send his body to Guatemala. He says he spoke to his brother's wife, who's still in disbelief her husband won't return home like he planned in a few weeks. I know it's how the saying goes. We never know what we are going to go through today or tomorrow. Life is not bought. Only God will know where we die. In Nashville, Araceli Crescencio, News Channel 5. It's so sad. Anyone with information on this case is asked to call Crime Stoppers. And if you would like to help the Taperia family with funeral costs, we have a link for you right now on our website.